Hi guys, this is Kathleen. Let's take a closer look at Prison Deck. With this incredible made gimmick, your spectators won't be able to remove the cards from the box. Only the magician can remove them. Prison Deck is a utility prop. It's quite ingenious, I must say. Oh, when I first received it, <laughs> I just couldn't believe that it's actually working as it's promised. I specifically didn't want to look at the instructions. I wanted to try to remove the deck myself and I couldn't. It's a deck of cards and I I can't, no matter how much I try. <laughs> and when you have the card, we show to everyone at home which card you are thinking of, okay? So there is no way uh, that I could know which card. <laughs> yes, I can take them out. You can? If they're stuck, I, I try it. They are stuck? Yeah. No, they, they actually are not stuck. Oh, okay. Yes, can you can you try? Yes, please. Okay, Marduk. Stage strolling, um, close up, strolling as well because there is really no angle issues. The way you hold your card box in order for you to you know release your actual deck of cards. So I would say it's perfect for 360 performances. Although because it's a very simple, simple effect. How should I say that? Not an effect. It's a very, very simple to work this utility device you still have to be a good enough performer for you to take the heat off of you when you're unlocking it only the magician can unlock it i see online people try to figure it out can you give it to a strong guy and then give it to a kid you can't or give it to a strong guy give it to a, a girl <laughs> and the girl can you know remove the cards a big muscular guy can't you cannot do that because the magician is the only one who's able to do this unless you use a sto stooge it could be possible it would be funny i think yes it would be funny but i don't think it's the kind of thing the kind of effect that will embarrass your audience i also read that um, a magician was concerned about that this is degrading you know you're mocking your helper it's not the case unless you're not communicating it well enough i think it's has quite the potential, not just a comedy effect. Prison Deck consists of a cleverly gimmicked card box with a genius secret that makes the trick very easy to perform. Also, it will last you a lifetime due to the very special material that it is made of. I have tried this on uh, my friends, more than one person. They couldn't figure it out. Yes, the box is bigger. It's not an ordinary deck of cards they couldn't tell obviously the person is not going to hold this for hours uh, i wouldn't recommend this to use this for drunken people or treat children or people who can actually tear this or try to tear it open because although it's made out of plastic material i feel like if they're going to rip it you know here they can because it's you know it's not a warm piece of solid metal it's it is const constructed to get together out of very uh, sturdy material, but I would pick my audience to make sure the person is not crazy. They are reliable, responsible. Uh, they are in their sane mind. <laughs> Once the cards are removed, the magician can perform any card trick right away, since the deck is 100% normal. So yes, you can put your own deck in here. Unfortunately, right now they're only making, or at least I only saw red back bicycle cards and I only perform with blue backs. However, I love the fact that you can put your prepared regular or pre prepared deck of card in here and you're good to go if you're doing strolling. So, so it doesn't take up extra space. You know, I specifically don't like to bring more than one deck of cards with me because I just like to travel very light <laughs> when I do my uh, strolling performances. So I would say this is a great addition. The instruction is 12 and a half minutes long where Joe Miranda himself will explain to you the handling. I must say the, the first time I watched the explanation, I wasn't quite sure how the, how the what is happening. And I, you know, I was like very cautious of not hurting the device, you know, because you have to have a kind of a strength of, <laughs> of opening this. But um, I wanted to make sure that I would be gentle and try to logically, you know, open it. But once you get it, I mean, I opened it and then I kind of like observed it all the way around because there is a deck of cards. I mean, it is like a card from the front and back, like everything looks very legit. So it's 
kind of bizarre to understand how this locking me mechanism works. I must say, when you close the lock, it does have a sound. Now, I never perform with places where it's complete quietness. If you do, you can always <coughs> do something like this, you know? <laughs> so I don't think it's a negative, but I still wanted to let you know that it does have a sound to it when you um, close the your uh, your lock. It is super easy to perform. I would say this is a beginner effect. No special sleight of hand needed. However, you have to figure it out your way, your timing, how you want to present this. Very well made, I have to say. The other thing I wanted to briefly mention is and that I read online that some magician wrote that there was one person who was able to open this. It's not it would not be possible because the way you open this is um, is a way that a kind of move would never be made with a real spectator. If you remove a card, you remove it like that. If they will be able to unlock it, it's because you're kind of flashing your move. They burn it, you don't have a good misdirection. <laughs> they watch it and then they repeat it and all of a sudden it happens. So trust me on this, they're not going to be able to open it unless you're exposing you know your moves. Um, I also read a question asking if you can put your gimmick in a different box. No, this whole device is a one piece of utility prop. I could take it apart and start building. I, I don't think it's necessary. Plus again the box is built for your deck of cards and your gimmick to fit. So of course it's going to be slightly bigger. Uh, so <laughs> unless you're going to start building a card box from scratch it's still this is a special material this is not paper it feels like paper i had no idea it's actually not it when i saw it so no you don't want to actually take this apart um unless you have nothing better things to do <laughs> let's look at the yeses this prop is ready to go there's nothing to build nothing to worry about once you learn how to open it and you practice with it and you test it on your friends you know, so you will get a handle on, you know, how to, how you two work together, you're good to go. Also, it's examinable because they will handle it, right? Yes, you're going to get a download with this. And also, I love that it's audience participation. So if you like to have your, you know, audience take place during your routine, this uh, device is definitely for you. It's also easy to do. I want to say it's self-working. <laughs> and you can perform it with any language. It's an everyday object. Everybody is familiar with a regular bicycle card. There is no do-it-yourself with a prison deck. It's also not light sensitive. Again, because the way you handle it, I would say it's not angle sensitive either. There's no preset unless you consider a preset of putting your deck of cards in it. Other than that, you're good to go. And if you put your card back in there, then you have an automatic reset. <laughs> so you're good to perform it for the next uh, group of people. No sleight of hand uh, required and no extra expense. Uh, and no extra expense unless you don't have a deck of cards. I recommend prison deck for magicians who enjoy and not afraid of having a personality, <laughs> enjoy performing personality based magic effects on stage or stand up uh, scale, strolling and close up. Also for someone who is doing card magic because obviously you kind of want to follow this with the card um, routine because there's a reason you're doing it so this is just beforehand or you can build a whole thing around this really. It's really up to you. It's about your you know, decision, your creativity. I think there's a lot of potential in this, but I will buy this for myself. It's something that I would use. That's why I wanted to get it. That's why I wanted to review it. But also I was very curious about the method. I couldn't believe that it, would it be something possible that it literally feels and looks like a legit deck of cards in an actual box. I mean, it just sounds impossible and there it is. <laughs> so I think it's awesome. Thank you so much Murphy's for letting me have prison deck. Also, thank you for the creators for allowing me to own this wonderful prop. So I'm able to do an honest review for you guys. If you like my work and if you like to support me, make sure you give me a thumbs up. 
if you want to see upcoming videos you can subscribe as well thank you for watching and i will see you guys very soon